beautiful. Oh, well, look at this. Used to decorate the palace of a king. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Why don't you say you work for Corleone, Tom? I thought you were just some cheap two-bit hustler Johnny was running in trying to bluff me. I don't like to use his name unless it's really necessary. How's your drink, Tom? Fine. Hey, come on over here with me. I want to show you something really beautiful. You do appreciate beauty, don't you? Hey, uh, six hundred thousand dollars on four hooks. I'll bet Russian Tsar's never paid that kind of dough for a single horse. Cartoon. <laughs> Cartoon. I'm not going to race him, though. I'm going to put him out to stud. Thanks, Tony. Welcome. Let's get something to eat, huh? Corleone, Johnny's godfather. To the Italian people, that's a very religious, sacred, close relationship. And I respect that. Just tell him he should ask me anything else. But this is one favor I can't give him. Well, he never asks a second favor when he's been refused the first. Understood? You don't understand. Johnny Fontaine never gets that movie. That part is perfect for him. It'll make him a big star. I'm going to run him out of the business. Then let me tell you why. Johnny Fontaine ruined one of Waltz International's most valuable protégés. For five years, we had him under training, singing lessons, acting lessons, dancing lessons. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on her. I was going to make her a big star. And let me be even more frank. Just to show you that I'm not a hard-hearted man, that it's not all dollars and cents. She was beautiful. She was young. She was innocent. She was the greatest piece of ass I've ever had, and I've had them all over the world. And then Johnny Fontaine comes along with his olive oil voice and guinea charm. And she runs off. She threw it all away just to make me look ridiculous. And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here. And if that goomba tries any rough stuff, you tell him I ain't no band leader. Yeah. I heard that story. Thank you for the dinner and a very pleasant evening. Maybe your car could take me to the airport. Mr. Corleone is a man who insists on hearing bad news immediately. 